Hi guys, it's Jen again. I am in the house by myself today and uh, we are getting dumped on in Utah. We've got snow flurries. I'm looking outside at the mountains and it's just cold and dark and um, I don't know about you, but every time I go grocery shopping, I always try to um, pick healthy foods and then when I'm at home, I'm like, all I really want is something chocolatey and delicious and uh, in a pinch when it's just you and you want something chocolatey and delicious, what do you do? Well, I have the answer for you. Um, today I am making five minute chocolate mug cake. Five minutes, one serving, it's perfect. It's from the kitchen of Tina Cole, cute cousin Tina. Um, and this is what we're gonna do. I'll hold it up so you can see it because I don't have a cameraman today. So what we do is we put two tablespoons Hershey's unsweetened cocoa powder into our large mug, not a little one, a large one. I think I need a little knife here. So one, two, there we go. So we've got our two tablespoons um, unsweetened cocoa powder. And then three tablespoons mini chocolate chips. I don't have mini chocolate chips, so I'm just gonna throw a couple of regular sized chocolate chips in there. Three tablespoons, I don't know, that looks right. There we go. Okay. Um, and then it says to put our flour, sugar, salt, and cocoa powder in and stir well. So much for those chocolate chips. Flour, sugar, and salt. Four tablespoons sugar. So here's my ginormous container of sugar. One, two, that's a lot of sugar. Three, four. And then four tablespoons flour. Let me grab that another large container. This one I'll use my knife to sort of even out the spoon. One, two, three, four. Four tablespoons sugar, four flour. All right, what's next? Flour, sugar, oh, salt. One dash of salt, it says. I think that's about a dash. Boom, there we go. I like a little salt in my chocolate. It, it I don't know, I feel like it brings out the chocolate flavor a little. So now I'm gonna mix that up. Let me grab a spoon. Actually, a fork might work better. So here's my mug. I can't really see, there's my mixture. I'm just mixing it all up. It's turning brown from the cocoa powder. Okay, after we do that, then we add one egg. I'm gonna go grab an egg, hold tight. I've got my egg. So we're just gonna crack that in with our ingredients and mix it. And that. simple. Let's get, uh, I'm inhaling cocoa powder. So in the directions, <laughs> it says not to over mix. However, we want to get it moist and I've missed a bunch at the bottom. So there's that. Okay. Then we add a splash of vanilla. You know me and my vanilla, right? I'll do a little more than a splash. There's that. Yikes. It smells so good, doesn't it? All right, we'll mix in our vanilla. Oh, we need three tablespoons vegetable oil. There go my spoons. Got them. So there's one, two, 
three. Okay. So it's pretty cake battery now. Is that it? And then milk. Three tablespoons milk. Ooh. This looks good. I can't tell you how many times I'm like, I have a sweet tooth, and there's nothing. Three tablespoons. We got a little extra. Three. There we go. Okay, so that's it. Then we were supposed to put in our chocolate chips. I put them in too early, but. So here's our mug with our mixture. It's cake batter consistency, and then we stick it in the microwave for three minutes. Let's try it. Come with me. Oops, sorry. Here we go to the microwave. I'll let you know when it comes out. It's officially winter in Utah. Our cake should be almost done. You guys have to see this. Our cake is done. Look at that. How crazy is that? Three minutes in the microwave. So now what we're supposed to do is turn it out into a bowl and add some whipped cream or some ice cream or something. We don't have any whipped cream right now. We've got a little bit of ice cream, so I'm gonna do that. Grab a bowl. Look at how it came. It's like, literally, it's like a tube of cake. <laughs> it's so perfect. All the chocolate chips were at the bottom, so I scraped them out. I'm gonna add a little bit of whatever ice cream we have left, a little salted caramel, and uh, try, it, try it out. It should be tasty. All right, here we go. Here's our chocolate mug cake with our ice cream or whipped cream if you have it. Um, it looks like a lot of cake actually. So I'm thinking this would be great even if you have two people, just cut it in half and each have a little bowl of it. Mm. It's so tasty if you're home and you need something, well, I gotta have something sweet and you don't have anything, this is great. It is chocolate cake in a mug. Um, I always like to have, I'm not a huge cake person, so like for me, the what makes it good is that it's warm and I've got melted ice cream with it. Um, but oh my gosh, who knew? Cake in a mug from the kitchen of King Cousin Tina. Enjoy, uh, I just lost my ice cream. Give it a try and enjoy. By the way, like and subscribe, please. Have a good one.